it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. I'm getting ready to go out and do some more paid work for customers. And unlike the last video, hopefully I make a few dollars today. This is, I guess as far as tractor work goes, it's simple work. But, you know, there's nothing simple or safe necessarily about operating a tractor. You need to respect every job. But all I'm doing today is tilling two gardens on a couple of properties that are like 10 minutes from here. So... These jobs I bid at $50 a piece. Um, I like that I'm doing two jobs with the same rear implement the same day. Not that it's that time consuming to put a tiller on, but every bit of time you spend should be factored in. Um, I've got the tractor ready to load. I've got my jack stands setting on the back of the trailer. I thought I'd mention that real quick because if you haven't seen my other video on safely loading a tractor onto a trailer, it can be kind of a dangerous situation, especially if you have a half ton truck and a tractor in this weight range. And when I drive the tractor up the ramps and all the weight first hits the back of the ramp and there's no weight on the front of the trailer, the, the trailer will actually lift the truck off the ground. Once I had it lift it and I thought I was on fairly flat ground right here, but this still has a little bit of a slope and the truck started to roll because the back of the truck lifted off the ground and it started to roll. So what I've learned to do is put the emergency brake on and then support the back of the trailer with a jack or some 4x4 post or jack stands or whatever you've got handy. I've been using the jack stands because I can easily take them with me. But support the back of the trailer so it can't drop down so the front of the tra trailer can't lift the truck. And then I put on the emergency brake so just in case that did happen it can't move or is less likely to move. But anyway, let's get this loaded up. I'll go over and till those two gardens. We'll see how long it takes me to make $100 today. The two garden beds I had to do today were about the same size, but this one took quite a bit longer, and that's just because of this mulch and compost that he had here, and that needed spread and the bucket may not have been the best tool for spreading that. If I had thought this through, I probably would have put the landscape rake on the front because I think that would have done a better job. On the top, this stuff's pretty dry, but then down below it's already rotten and so it was sticky and clumped and you know, it's not like spreading rock when you're trying to spread something that's this soft and it didn't back drag very well. So, I thought I did a pretty decent job of spreading it out before I dropped the tiller, but the ground was still pretty lumpy. So, the first trip with the tiller, I was able to mix it in pretty well and, you know, get good soft soil, but it was wavy. You know, it had high spots and low spots where I didn't get this perfectly spread. And as a result, I didn't want to leave it that way, but once again, it was hard to back drag that or spread it with the bucket when it was already that soft and tilled, and I'm leaving tracks as I go. So I ended up just running the tiller across it multiple times. I would make passes all the way across going north and south, then I would switch and make passes across it going east and west, and just alternated doing that until it smoothed it out. I also stopped here and there and I would um, scoop up a little bit from one area that, that was higher and move it, but for the most part I just repeatedly tilled it.
definitely hear this clanking noise as the, I guess you'd call them safety chains, kind of flopped around back there on that drive shaft. Every time I get ready to use a PTO implement, I try to hook up those chains. But mine have a tendency to either have the clips fall off of them or something like that. And so I don't always get those hooked the way they're supposed to be. It's not really protecting anything except protecting that sheeting from wearing out around the drive shaft. So I'll try to do a better job in the future of keeping good hooks on those so that I can connect them the way they need to be. At this point, like I said a minute ago, this soil's already good and loose, but it's just lumpy. And, you know, you could plant in it, but I didn't like the way it looked. So. I just continued to go over it until it smoothed out. Also, there's a lot more compost on the left side of the screen as you're watching it now than there is on the right. The right side's more dry soil. So I scooped some up with the bucket and moved it over there before I started the next set of passes. But I'm gonna go ahead and skip on over to the traveling to the next job. So both of these tilling jobs are for personal friends, and I've done more talking than tilling today, but I'm having a good time and the work's getting done, so that's all right. Um, when I, I drove from the other property, which is three miles away, to here, it took me about 10 minutes to drive that three miles, and so I thought that was easier than loading up and, and unloading again. So um, I'll just drive here, drive back. This one's gonna be really quick. It's a garden that's been a garden for several years, so till it up real quick. I already did half of it before I remembered I'm making a YouTube video. So I'll get the other half on video, then we'll drive them back over to the other property and make sure he's happy with the job.
So these tilling jobs is one of the first things I've done where I said this could really be profitable for your time. I'm not charging that much at $50 to till a garden, but if they were close enough, you could just drive your tractor, say you're in a small town and you just drive around and do four or five of them. Um, you can come out pretty good even at that cheaper rate that I'm charging. All right, well, I had a lot of fun tilling those gardens up. Anyway, it was a fun day. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. In a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more videos, and I'll see you next time.